Red Bull is back. It's Rob Bailey. Bailey. It's the Good morning, everyone. So the meat is done and gone. It feels like it's been so long since my meat, but it's really only been a week, and I kind of miss it. I want to go back. I want to lift heavy, but nope, it's not the time for that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my future plans and um, why I'm doing it, and then also kind of talk about the first two weeks back after me. So let's get started. So if you've been following me, then you've seen me mention that after my meet, I'm going to be doing about an eight or nine week cut. So I started that right after my meet. I of course had a cheat meal with Tony um, the night after my meet, and then come Sunday, got right back on track with everything. So I'm starting this cut just with the same macros that I was eating right before my meet and um, same cardio and everything just to lose the water weight that I had put on during my meet and just kind of get my body back on track and stabilized. So on my training days, I'm in the mid 1400 calories, non-training days, high 13s, there's not too big of a difference. And then for cardio, I was just doing seven days a week. Um, I would do five minute warm up and then eight minutes of hit and then five minute cool down. So I mean, my calories are pretty low um, for me because I did somewhat diet into the meat to get down to my weight class but um, cardio is low as well so I do have room to progress and for training I'm going back to more of a bodybuilding style of training um, with still keeping squat bench and deadlift in there. I'll just be doing more variations of it and obviously more volume. And then one thing that I'm doing a lot of is supersetting. Um, I just really enjoy supersetting. It allows me to challenge myself a little bit more and have shorter rest periods. So yeah, and I just think it's a lot of fun. And doing a lot of volume and hypertrophy work allows me to strengthen my weaknesses and all the smaller muscle groups, which all those smaller muscle groups is what helps with the bigger muscle groups or my bigger lifts, which would be squat bench and deadlift. So this allows me to actually build and grow and strengthen all of those smaller things to help build up my lips. And on top of getting stronger to perform better in powerlifting, I will also be building and sculpting my physique to the way I want it. It's been over a year since I've competed and since I've really leaned out. So I'm excited to lean out a little bit, kind of see what I've got going on and sculpt everything to where I want it. Um, and so hopefully this little mini cut will give me an idea of where I'm at so then I can choose when I want to do my pro debut. I'm overjoyed. Can't wait to see what happens next. So now let's talk a little bit about the first week or two of training after a meet. So I know a few people that I've talked to say that they're just beat after me and they don't even come back into the gym, but just taking that Sunday off after the meet was a little bit rough for me. I'm just so used to training, 
so much and so often. So too much of uh, resting kind of throws me off and I feel very stiff and get a little bit depressed in a way. So I went right back to training that Monday. But my overall goal of that very first week was really just to get get moving, get in there, get moving, um, do lighter weights. So I really didn't push myself. I just listened to my body and my body was definitely not the happiest with me um, and I could feel it. I was sore all the way up until this day, deadlift day, which was Thursday. So I was really sore and tired and fatigued. And then um, towards the end of the week, everything started to feel a lot better. And like I mentioned earlier, I was uh, adding in a lot of volume, which I will be doing for the next eight weeks. So I think the least amount of reps that I did was probably like eight. And then I was working all the way up to 20 with some of the exercises. So definitely different and it's hard, especially because when you're getting ready for a meet, you're doing very, very low volume. You're doing singles, doubles, triples maybe, and that'd be like the most that you do. And then um, doing minimal cardio just to recover. So you're not doing any like hit or anything. So after a meet, you're kind of in like your worst shape so then when you come back not only are you tired and sore from your meat but then you also are going to be trying to do all this volume which your body isn't used to doing so everything feels really challenging but that's what I've got to do so I got in there and I did it and pushed through the tiredness and the soreness and just got it done And oh my gosh, on this bench day, which was Sunday for me, before I started my bench, I met with a couple of my clients, and then um, Natalie, one of the girls that trains at Kabuki, she had asked me to join her for cardio, and so for cardio, she does CrossFit style workouts, and so I was like, you know what, I'm not training for anything, I'll join her, and oh my gosh, I died. Because one, I'm not in the best shape because I've been prepping for a meet, uh, powerlifting meet. And then two, I don't really do that kind of cardio. I'm a bodybuilder, so I utilize more of like steady state cardio and then the occasional hit session, but definitely not as intense as like a CrossFit style workout. So I joined her, it was 20 minutes um, of what did we do? Um, we did like a burpee dumbbell uh, swing up to like a press and then pull ups and then jump rope. So it was a lot of fun, very challenging and um, lesson learned, do not do high intensity, high intensity cardio or any cardio really right before you're gonna try to lift weights because for the rest of my workout, I just felt very off and very tired and very weak. But I mean, I'm glad that I trained with her and I had a lot of fun. So I am dieting and doing a little bit more cardio and I'm back into the gym. My body is slowly starting to feel better. So follow along with my training at kabukistrength.com and keep watching my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a good day. Bye.